Okay. The egg tortillas stuffed with beans, cheese, and chicharron with a side of salad or salsa, um, which is considered a meal. Okay. Well, this is the pupusa, and this is the cocido, which is pickled veggies, and the salsa, made out of tomatoes and jalapenos, or whatever you want to do. So, um, so I can talk about pupusas because I was born and raised in El Salvador, so I've seen how they're made, seen how they change throughout the years. And um, pupusas are the main dishes, like the main dish of El Salvador. Everywhere you go, you walk around, you'll see stands. And they're right next to each other, so you'll just stop by. They're, what, 25 cents each with, like, a drink. And the main point, like, what I'm going to talk about is how they're made, what they consist of, and how I identify with pupusas. Pupusas consist of beans, cheese, and chicharrones, which is pork rind. And the way you make pupusas is you get maseca, which is corn flour. You pat it into a circle, then you add the filling. You fold it over, and you pat it again into a circle. Put it on the hot surface of a gumal, which is known as a grill. And you leave it there for like five minutes on each side until it's golden brown. And... Over time, oh, the most common type of pupusa has bean cheese and chicharrones, but over time they change. And one of the newest ones is the pupusa loca, which is a huge pupusa, like maybe the size of a small pizza. It has like the three main things, bean cheese, chicharron, shrimp, chicken, squash, different types of vegetables. I mean, I think it's just a <laughs> <laughs> The South, well, Pupusas describes Salvadorian culture because the tribe called the Pupus migrated to El Salvador about 2,000 years ago, and they created it, and over time it's changed. I identify myself with Pupusas because ever since I was a little girl, I've been eating them. I know how to make them. I mean, those, like, hard work, I think so. And I eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner almost every week because... It's easy to make, I guess, for my mom. That's all she feeds us. <laughs> um, well, we have it for family reunions, birthday parties. Because you can make a bunch, like 300 out of like a little small bowl of maceca and beans. In El Salvador, you would see, like on the bus or in the car, on the big old freeway, you would see like little stands. And if you're hungry, you just get out of the freeway and buy it. So, I talked about pupusas and how they're the main dish of El Salvador. I talked about what they consist of and how they are made. I identify myself with the pupusas because they're all over, even here. And hopefully, like learning about pupusas and where they came from, I would encourage you guys to like try them if you guys want to try them. Let me show you a little bit. This is like where the Pipil tribe were at. This is where they found like remains of the Pupil. This is like my new channel. This is like the kind of blue channel. Like the sunset over there. Like little houses in front of the volcano where like tribes used to live where they found remains. The blue tomb, the tunnel going towards the mountain. This is like the farm where they grow the beans. 
This is the lake that used to be the volcano. Yeah. Yeah. 